In the past, if us Arduino users were going to control something, we use our hands. For example, we use a remote control to control RC cars or boats or airplanes. All we use is our hands. But now there's a new and completely unique option to control an Arduino, and this uses the brain. And in order to read data from the brain, we use EEG or electroencephalography sensors. These sensors can distinguish between different brain waves, and this allows us to have a general sense of the brain. Many people have started using EEG sensors in their Arduino projects. In order to read data from the sensors, you can use Kitsch Patrol's Arduino library called Brain. In order to control a robot with these sensors, you interpret different brain waves as different signals. For example, to go forward, you might have the Arduino wait for a theta wave, which signals a meditative state. As you can see on the screen right now, these are all of the different waves that it can recognize. In the description, I have linked to the Brain Library and a tutorial on EEG sensors. In order to get these sensors, I would highly recommend you buy either the MindFlex game or the Star Wars Force Trainer. Both of these games are cheaper than buying one of these sensors individually. Currently, the Force Trainer is down in price from around $100 down to almost $30. You can find the links to these games in the description below. As always, subscribe and I'll see you next time.